Are you scared of standing out? That yes. People judge you. Yes. Oh. <laughs> wow. Subtle sexiness, so it's not like big open top. Hi Trini, my name is Sophie Tilly and I'm 58 years old and I live in North Wales. I just feel at 58 I sort of lost my way a little bit about how to feel and look great. I must I must admit that, you know, you've really inspired me to um, just take a check and, and look at things. I think your vibrance and enthusiasm for everything is just, is just so addictive and uh, and terribly uplifting and I'd, I would just absolutely love the opportunity to to have that magic worked on me. So, darling, I saw that video. When you were doing the video, what were you thinking? Just thinking that I wanted to make some big changes, just feel confident and move forward in a sort of, you know, in a good way. In a good way. In a good way. Yeah. There's never, there's never a wrong or right time. It's just no. got to be the time when you feel I've had enough of that one. Let's see who else I can be. A yes. bit. I just want to get an idea of the context of how you dress and what you dress for, um, and what your day is like. Well, I live in North Wales, and I sort of. I mean, it's it's sort of mountains. Yes. <laughs> it's, it's all day to day wear. I seem to. I, I'm from London originally, and I seem to have had two wardrobes. You know, and I've never felt sort of the confidence to wear those that those clothes. Yeah. Yes. And are you scared of standing out? That yes. People judge you. Yes. Whether we can find you something that's a relaxed daytime look but makes you feel you've made an effort, but doesn't make you feel you've overdressed. Yes. It's that kind of thing which can be a uniform that you pull out and it immediately gives you a feeling, a good feeling. Yes. Okay, that's good. Did you Stop shop in North Wales? Yeah, I mean, what I have we got in I North Wales? Chester. <laughs> Chester. Yeah. Chester's. And when you go out with your husband um, for a little dinner or something, what would you wear? Um, probably jeans. <laughs> Jeans and a jumper. Jeans and a jumper. Okay. I'm always wearing big coats okay, to cover that. myself up. Right, that's fine. Right. We know that one. Whoa! <laughs> we need a big coat now. Yes. Yes. We're going to be Russian. Right. Can you wear prints? Yes, you can wear prints. Can I? Yes, you can. But it's too much black and white. Just colours. And I love that little belt. I think yes. that's quite interesting. Yeah, it could be very nice for you. I like the idea of that really pretty sleeve for summer. You could do that with a sort of fitted pair of trousers. It's exciting. I can't remember the last time I did sexy. Your colour plan is very much autumnal. Burgundy, aubergine, brown, the rusty colours. A navy, not a bright, bright blue. If you wear yellow, more of a mustard. Okay, well, good stuff. <laughs> Brilliant. This is why I started to end up just not buying clothes because I come into this point and I just think. When is the last time you, you felt you look at yourself in the mirror and I thought, oh yes? Not for a long time. Sorry, I don't get into emotional. <laughs> I love this collar done up sharp coolness. Subtle sexiness, so it's not like big open top, low v neck, it's sharp angles. And I haven't worn heels like this, I just, you know, I love, it. I love the lips. It's just, I like the simplicity of it. You've got to stop putting your hair behind your ear. Sometimes when we look in the mirror, we'll go straight away to what we don't like. Do you see the shape of your bum? <laughs> 
those sexy shoes. Yeah. I think in my 20s was the last time I wore heels like this. When you're wearing something that black, you can afford to go for a mad oh, shoe. Man. These are so sexy, aren't they? I think if my husband saw me in these shoes, he'd like them. <laughs> I took you down to be smudgy, but you freshen up and you come to life in these in these clean. You no, really it, like you your whole face the camera. really comes really? to life. Yeah. Bro, get the bloody bro. Is it half you of your comfort zone? But <laughs> it's fresh. I love the pop of the white out from the navy. I kind of like the shirt to be more white here. Mm. Do you see when I see that like that? Yeah. That is super cool. I love this. This is what makes me happy. Wow! I was like, Woo! Woo! Now, <laughs> you can do a stride like this, but what I want to show it with is. Isn't it? I just love that. Red. Do you know I'd never buy it? Red's very hard to wear, isn't it? And it's, you would never think I could wear that. <laughs> he wants me to come back from this experience, my husband, like, re-energised. <laughs> but, but what we liked is the freshness of the white. You know, like, that's really mm. fresh. And it's that, just I that pop that as well, yeah. is really gorgeous. That's you know, yes, it's yeah, you. It's you right? Wow, okay. that looks oh, lovely. That's really just <laughs> so you've done, and I'm so happy that you can see. Oh, thank you. That you can see that side of you. Hello. This is Mel. Nice to meet you. Mel, Mel does my hair, oh. so we just thought we'd better get in the best. So do what you normally do. Do what you normally do. So I've washed it, dried it. There. Done. <laughs> okay. So my thought is, I don't want her doing that anymore. No. I want a style where she doesn't put it up. So I want um, Sophie's eyes to pop, but you're already quite, got quite, you're quite dark around here. Yeah. Your eyelid and socket are fairly shaded as well. If people have that kind of sort of colouring around their eyes, sometimes smoky can make them look more tired or just accentuate it. So I'm going to do colours that will lighten it and brighten it, but, but then some subtle smoking, but really close to the lash line rather than a full-on shaded, um, mm -hmm. full-out smoke. and Sophie is behind me and it's been a hell of a journey for Sophie, quite an emotional one. But I think that she really blossomed in Zara and then having her hair and makeup done and then having her hair changed, they're all big things for her. And even though Sophie's gonna go back to Wales, I'm really hoping every day she'll wake up thinking, what do I remember from this experience? So that there's a shift in how she feels inside that can be a reflection of what she's wearing on the outside. But let's see Sophie now. You are.
You feel changed? I feel completely changed. I've, I've learned so much and I sort of realised a lot of mistakes I was making. One of the major league being buying clothes far too big, covering myself up, hiding myself away and um, I'm not going to do that anymore. Having my hair cut has made me feel complete. I feel free like you wouldn't imagine and I just it, that was just like the best thing ever and, and sort of discovering you know having my makeup done and learning how to do my eyes but for me like the red has it's just made me so happy not being afraid to sort of actually show myself because I think that was the thing I was like sort of like in the shadows a bit more but no I'm not going to do that anymore you know it's been, it's been emotional it's just been the best time exciting I just can't thank you enough and you really sort of changed my life really from this moment forward, I just want to change and be a different person and just start really enjoying life completely. <laughs> 